Oh yeah, oh yeah, he went there. <laughs> President Trump mocks CNN's ratings implosion as well as the ratings collapse for the entire mainstream media. In this video, we take a look at the ratings plunge that President Trump is celebrating, how the mainstream media has only themselves to blame, at least in part, for their ratings embarrassment, and why we can be sure that their viewership will continue to implode in the months and years ahead. You're not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you. As always, we are your daily fake news antidote. It is as each and every day. We provide patriotic analysis to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. And let me tell you, gang, it is hot here in the greater Philly area where I am. And I am so glad I got an awesome device that's here to keep me personally cool in the midst of a sweltering summer, ridiculously hot workspaces and interiors. It's called the Arctic Breeze 3-in-1 Air Cooler, and it's a mini air conditioner unit that's small and compact enough that you can put it right on your desk. It's awesome. It works as a portable air cooler, air purifier, and air humidifier. Plus, it has three different wind speeds and USB connectivity, so it can be powered by multiple devices. Now, this is the best part. If you click on the link below right now, for limited time, right, they're offering this little gem at 50% off plus free shipping. That's right. 50% off and free shipping. So don't wait. It's a limited time offer. Get one for yourself, for your loved ones, for your friends. Click on that link below or go to easysummercool.com and order your personal portable AC unit today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. President Trump, shall we say, agitating the far left activists disguised as journalists at CNN and MSNBC, as well as Chris Wallace over at Fox. He released a statement the other day saying, quote, CNN ratings are down 70%. MSDNC is also way down. Actually, they're all way down. They say the news is boring since I left DC. Morning Joe, Joy Reid, whoever that is, Nicole Wallace, Jake Tapper, even Chris Wallace at Fox in free fall. A wonderful thing to see. And it is a wonderful thing to see. You singled out Jake Tapper, CNN. You know, Jake Tapper's been in a ratings free fall. He's lost 75% of his audience since January. 75%. I mean, it doesn't get worse than that. He's gone from 2.8 million viewers in January this year to now barely Barely 700,000, representing a 75% drop in his audience. In the key marketing demographic of adults age 25 to 54, he's dropped nearly 80%. 80% drop in the key demo, 75% drop overall. Ouch. But Tapper is actually the lucky one at CNN. We did a video you're going to absolutely love on Jim Acosta, who we affectionately refer to as Jim Acoster, since he's more of a heckler than a reporter. Jim Acoster and Brian Stelter. Their programs are literally imploding. We get more views per week on this video channel than they do, and I've got a $100 webcam. I mean, you'll love that video because we get into how the ratings for CNN as a whole actually go down every time these two are on. It's absolutely hilarious. Keep in mind, these are CNN viewers. And even they hate it when Acosta and Stelter come on camera, right? Viewers are actually turning CNN off when they come on. It's hilarious. But uh, no, I think no one comes close to the ratings meltdown being experienced right now more than Don Lemon. CNN's Lemon is in an absolute ratings free fall. I mean, his audience is utterly plummeting. You ready for this? Since January this year, Lemon's viewership has dropped a staggering 77%. Nearly 8 out of 10 viewers have turned him off. Now, you need to let that hit you. 77%. He frankly can't go that much farther before he hits rock bottom. And this, despite the fact that he pulled that ridiculous publicity stunt a few weeks back when he made everyone think he was done at CNN, but then it turns out that they were just simply renaming his fledgling show. So obviously he was widely mocked and ridiculed for such a ridiculously blatant publicity stunt. But to add insult to injury, <laughs> it didn't work. He has continued to hemorrhage viewers ever since. And it's the same for CNN as a whole. As President Trump pointed out, the ratings for the ultra-left cable news channel are an absolute free fall. There's really... When all is said and done, there's just no other way of putting it. This is nothing short of a colossal failure. It's frankly 
A glorious collapse in a network that continues to herald itself as the most trusted name in news. Well, the list of those who trust CNN grows thin for sure. Altogether, CNN has lost two-thirds of their audience since January this year. Two-thirds of their audience is gone. I mean, it doesn't get more devastating than that for a news outlet. So obviously, President Trump is having a lot of fun with this watching these virulent anti-Trump political activists disguised as journalists implode in their ratings. Now, what we have to understand is that this ratings implosion is at least in part because of the mainstream media's coordinated attempt to censor President Trump, to push him out of the public arena and conspire to censor information about him because he so horrifically offends their politically correct sentiments. The problem with that strategy is the mainstream media is learning the hard way. The problem is that whenever you conspire to censor, it inevitably fosters the conditions for bootleggers to arise, right? So you know what a bootlegger is. You make alcohol illegal and what happens, right? You censor alcohol and what happens? If people want to drink, what are they going to do? Well, they're going to turn to a black market. And that's what's happening in the rise of alt tech and alt media. You have tens of millions of people who are turning more and more to alternative news sources like this channel to get the information they want, particularly on President Trump and the patriot movement that's rising up all over the nation. By the way, if I could just do a quick plug, we do have a completely free resource for you on that. It's called our Fake News Antidote. It's an updated compilation of over 30 alternative news sites that I go to for my news each and every single day. They're all conservative. They all celebrate Trump and the new patriotism sweeping the world. It's yours absolutely free simply by clicking on the link down below in the pinned comments section. My gift to you. You're going to absolutely love it. But what we have to understand is that these dozens and dozens of alternative news sites that are all getting millions of hits a month, they're all springing up all over the place precisely because the mainstream media has actively and deliberately attempted to censor President Trump and the rising patriot movement that he has so inspired. And the mainstream media, literally every single outlet, is suffering the consequences of this conspiracy. But there's something even more significant going on here. It's not just a matter of you know, a very well-earned trash talk that CNN is getting here from 45. The implosion in their ratings has dramatic political consequences as well. I mean, huge political consequences. Now, if you want to deep dive into this, definitely check out my video I posted on the new international study just came out showing that the U.S. media came in dead last among 46 countries in terms of media trust. That was a huge repudiation of our mainstream media. CNN, MSNBC, New York Times, they all collectively came in dead last among all international media when it came to their trustworthiness. So you definitely want to check out that video for a deep dive into what we're about to talk about here. But the uptake in all this is that scholars have long recognized that the media actually sets the political agenda for our nation. It's technically called agenda setting theory. And agenda setting theory is a field of study that explores the influence of the media on setting the political agenda and prioritizing political causes and policies. It's long been recognized that what the mainstream media focuses on, on what current events get attention, it's all a major driver of what counts as a viable political agenda, which of course is always veers radical left. And they achieve this agenda setting through the twin processes of framing and priming. Again, we get into all that in detail in that video that you need to watch. But what's so important here for us to realize is that the more the mainstream media implodes in terms of their audience, the more their agenda setting influence erodes. The more the mainstream media implodes, the more their agenda setting erodes. That's what's really got the mainstream media so upset with Trump. That is why they hate him so much. It ultimately, Frank, it has nothing to do with him or his policies or his governance. It has nothing to do with January 6th. It has everything to do ultimately with the fact that Trump is an existential threat to their agenda setting power and influence. That is why the media hates him so much and why they've conspired to censor him from the public square. But as we've seen, it's all backfiring. And it's backfiring precisely because Trump isn't the problem. 
You see, the media got distracted with Trump. They didn't see what's the real threat to their agenda-setting monopoly, and that is what we're going to be looking at next. But first, in celebration of Independence Day coming up, our awesome merch store has some super savings for you for just this week. Buy two of our amazing Patriot t-shirts and you're going to get third one absolutely free. So this is a perfect opportunity to get yourself, your loved ones, some friends, some of the coolest, most patriotic shirts available simply by clicking on the link below. But this is a limited time offer. The sale ends on midnight after July 4th. So do not wait. Click on that link below and take advantage of our buy two, get one free offer today. So what's the media missing here? What's the real threat to their agenda setting power? Well, it's called the rise of the network society, which is a fundamentally different society than the one produced, the one that produced the mainstream media. The mainstream media comes out of a social order known as mass society. This is the kind of society that arose in the 19th and 20th centuries. It was organized around you know, densely concentrated urbanized populations during the industrial revolution. And it's within this mass society that the days of big media, mass media, were forged over the course of the last century. The problem for mass media is that scholars recognize we're moving away from mass society and moving instead to what's called a network society, where we don't need mass media anymore because, well, frankly, <laughs> we've all got our cell phones. We all have the internet. We don't need mass media anymore as a platform from which we get our information. The network society is a new social order that's decentralized and disestablished. And it's one that the legacy big media simply cannot compete with anymore. So while they're distracted by Donald Trump and is mocking their ratings fall, that mocking is merely a symptom. The ratings free fall is going to continue whether Trump is in the picture or not. And there's absolutely nothing that CNN and the mainstream media can do about it. Now, before we go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video. I just uploaded it. It's on the colossal fall of Meghan McCain. You're not going to want to miss this one. Make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.